Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances.
Headed there now. Heading there now. Moving to position. They don't have eggs. On the move. Look out. That Alien easy. life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. That's affirmative. Orders confirmed. On the move. Das ist ein Geräusch. Miss the target.
Heading out. Frag out. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. On it, Commander. to that location.
Verstanden. Los geht's. just realized that I was talking the whole time and I don't even think my voice is very recorded. <laughs> Alright, I think I fixed it. I'm hoping that uh, it isn't too loud in here or something. Alright, so to recap, We just saw a meld signal over here, and that means that meld is in this direction. I, it looks like it's right there, that thing right there. I actually learned about meld before I played this game. And if you don't get there in time, it goes away. But right now, I got a situation where I need to kill these aliens because they're trying to kill me. And my plan was to get rid of this mind melded alien. So you kill the host. You can see right here, his brain is being melded from an alien over here somewhere. Uh, and if you kill the host, it kills the host T. <laughs> well, not the host, you kill the main one using his brain. So I think he's like in this area somewhere. So I'm gonna throw my grenade, and if it kills him, I'll still get the fire to him. Yeah, do that, and he's gonna die. And I still get his weapon fragments, so I lost two of them, but it's worth Their weapons my appear to self destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Alright, so the next phase, I actually want to try to get this meld. So, I'm going to... bring my... Aye, aye, Commander. Over here. This is Mar Mary Walsh. I almost called her Margaret Walsh. And now that I know this area is safe, kinda, I'm gonna just dash them over Stand. here. Los gates. I want them all to stay together. Location confirmed. And I'm just gonna pull the watch. Uh. 
Yeah, exploding cars. I learned that the hard way. If if you like hit a car or throw a grenade at it, it sets on fire, and during your next turn it blows up. Or if the aliens do it, do it during their next turn it blows up. Uh, I thought originally that the aliens could just blow up a car because they wanted to. I had a sniper just sitting next to it, and then the car just blew. And I had no idea what just happened. But then I realized that oh, it sets on fire, and then after that, it blows up. So, learned that the hard way. We'll never do that again. So, my two ladies with the most health, I'm actually going to have them. Time to motor. I'm pretty confident that that's safe. Alright, otherwise, I wouldn't have made her dash. And because she did it, I'll let her do it. Moving to position. I'm trying to breach the door as safely as possible. Uh, I'm going to. I'm very scared of putting her that way. Because if she runs across that door and there's someone waiting, they're going to ambush her. Stepping uh, off. Cool, we didn't die. Since she has one health left, I want her to come out of this alive, so I'm really, really, really not going to put her in much harm's way. In Bevego. We're gonna overwatch one side. Yeah, no. In case someone comes out that door. All right, so we know we're in. We know they're in. Oh, the melt's gone. Oh well. Well, let's see if there's something in this building. From what we can see, no, there's nothing in here. But we just saw, we just heard an alien come from this way. Um, what I want to do. Let's find some really good cover from here and have someone watch at the window. So that way if an alien tries to run across, or if I want to lock them down, I can just overwatch them. It doesn't look like there's any good cover here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is. You also want to have them spread out a little bit only because so you can increase your visibility. Heading there now. Over here. I want her to open this door. Probably shouldn't. Hmm. She's gonna open it. Up. So I'm gonna hope Perkins can get out of this alive. Let's try to. Uh, I don't want to scout this room because I I didn't hear anyone come from here. I want to focus on locking this down. But unless it's full cover, I don't want to put them in any danger. Let's get her over here. Aye, aye, Commander. How do we end up with a squad full of women? Moving out! Like, it's with the save the women and children. Alright, I want her to hide, so I'm actually gonna put her in here. Go skates. Good thing they blew this on her. So you see me dashing now because I actually know there's no threat right now. I would never dash around in this place where it was I don't open and I didn't know what was in that area. <laughs> Alright, you can see the meld is still up here. I think theoretically like it starts with a countdown and as it goes down it, it loses, but it doesn't tell you what the countdown is unless you see it. So right now it's telling me that there's meld around here somewhere and if I don't get it in time, it's going to be gone. So. I don't care about it right now because they, they're not up to the point where I'm confident enough for them to just run around the map. Actually, I'm never that confident. But you know what I mean. Anyway, let's just open this door and see what's in here. We're going to have her go Heading here. to that location. Now, closed doors, even though it's a glass door, it still has very limited visibility. But as soon as I open it, it's, it's probably going to show aliens. So I'm going to hope that okay she can see them from this angle if they start to move around and i'm going to have her come here with solid me. copy and she's going to overwatch i don't want her to overwatch because look at her health if she overwatches she can't move again and if they get into a position where i think she's going to die i'm going to want to move her out of the way all right so let's open the door no? Nothing? Nothing? Okay. 
Nothing happened. Okay. Alright. Alright. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna go to Overwatch. And Overwatch. <sighs> Alright, it looks like either they moved or they're more clients. And they're telling you what a map is. Right there. Flare is day. But they're also over here. And unless I can get on the roof, I'm not really excited to run over there in harm's way. You can tell if you can get on the roof because there's like ladders or pipes. Later in the game, they give you like suits where you can get up there without ladders or pipes. Alright, so nothing's over there. Is there maybe a door that leads over here? Looks like a loading dock. Alright. It's getting kind of risky. Because there's no full cover here. She has very little health. And I know they're out there. <laughs> That's like one of those uh, things Mulder says. I know they're out there. <laughs> you know, games like this makes me think like... Like, no wonder aliens don't want to come visit Earth. Look at the type of games we play about them. Just games about shooting and killing them and massacre. Like, those humans are horrible. We're never going to say hello to them. Okay. I don't want any of my girls to die. Mary Walsh, with one of the highest health, I'm going to have her check this room out. And by that, I mean she's going to go about midway here. In case she has to run back. Out. She still can't see anything. Alright. Well. I don't want her running out there. Because she's going to die. Also be careful. Like, say I want, I want her right here. I want her, not her. I want Don Mason to run here. But looking at the path, she's actually going to run through the window, like Raikage. But that's going to alert anyone in this area that she's here, and I don't want to do that. So you have to kind of like take it step by step. Take it go here first, and then turn her around. Um, so I'm going to do that. Moving out. So we're going to start to get those two to scout, and then her to do Overwatch. And I'm going to try to get her help too. Oh, I don't want her to die. Martha Schultz. Im Laufschritt. It's like unnecessary sacrifice. Alright, and we're gonna just oh, go oh, yeah. Again, I'm very, I'm very you didn't hear me the first time, but I'm very careful. Like I don't like to lose people. I get a little emotional. So I'm gonna put her here. Because we're gonna try to breach the next On floor. my way. You know, sometimes, like, the fog is, like, so petty. Like, there's, like, a little corner of fog right there. And as soon as I put her here, then I see just an unalien just pop out. Now, oh, she should be able to go here now. Aye, aye. What if there's a door over here? I don't know these maps by heart. Yeah, so possibly I could breach both these doors in case they're, like, in this area, which I know they are. But... There could be aliens over here. I don't know how many are on this map. With classic, you just never know. Uh, I'm not putting her in, at, right here for the simple fact that if, if someone does pop out, they can take a shot at her. Even though she's in full cover, I don't want to risk it. Uh, um, so, to prepare any type of resistance, I'm going to put her out That's affirmative. Kind of like as a backup. We're gonna do one more overwatch, and then we're gonna breach the door. On my way. On my way. Why? In my Scanning. All right. So as soon as I open this door, There's it's something about there. to go down. All right. So I could overwatch and try to get a shot as soon as they move, but that. My put me at a disadvantage. No. Yes. No. Huh. I don't know. 
I'm gonna try. We're gonna have Don. What was her? I mean, Heather Perkins, Overwatch, Don Mason, Overwatch, and Mary Walsh is gonna open the door. All right, let's go. What? Freaking XCOM. Just XCOM all the time. All right. So, since I put two people in Overwatch, I of course can't now um, go out there because if I do, they can flank me. It's, it's going to be at least three. And I would want to put her right here because I know they're over here somewhere. But, I mean, they could be here and easily run here and then get me. And then I'll just be SOL. So, we're Overwatch. Roger, you got my eyes on. They're probably gonna show themselves now. Nope, I don't even hear them anymore. Like, you don't see the sound wave, so let's see what happens. Gotta go. Aye, aye, Commander. Alien object. We're doing engage. All right, we can do this. And they're probably gonna go through that door. Yep. And try and flank me. Yep, the they're flanking the one I don't want to die. I have a 40% chance to hit him based on his high cover. I could easily flank him from here, but she doesn't. She doesn't have any moves left. Um, he will probably flank me from here. All right, let's look at this situation in here. She's being flanked, and she will definitely die. She has very little chance to hit. Uh, they're so smart in this version. Like really. She has a 20% chance to hit. But normally you say 40%. Oh, that sounds good. I think I'll take that shot. That's, that's almost 50%. Not with XCOM. 40% is more like 2%. So what are we going to do? Uh, 